Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got an unboxing for you. And it's an unboxing of this lovely plain white box. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's going to catch this, but on the front, white on white, it's got 2021. This is the box for the Narwhal Nautilus 365 Anniversary Fountain Pen Canos Crystallis. I was looking off camera to make sure that I actually read it properly. It's quite a long name, isn't it? It's now on Nautilus. It's in Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 3.5 material. Really looking forward to getting into this. So join me down on the mat. We'll unbox. We'll take a look at the pen. Do some size comparisons. Put some ink in it. Do a writing sample. Then I'll give you my first impressions. Here we are down on the mat. Hopefully this time you can actually see we've got 20 and then 21. Plain white box. Here, let me just turn that around. We've got Narwhal. I believe this will be the model number. It's a medium nib, so that's what I'm guessing the M is for. Other than that, the box is fairly plain. Let's dig on in and see what we've got. So, hopefully this is coming over on the camera. Let me just move the focus point. It looks like it's kind of pearlescent type color. Let's see if I can get out. These boxes are ever so tight. I'm just taking it off camera so I can open the other end and use that to push it. There we go. Let's pop that where we can hopefully see it. I think my lights might be a bit bright at the moment. I'm getting a lot of reflection. But here again, we've got 2021 Now Wall 365 Limited Series. Other than that, I say it's fairly shiny, pearlescent box, nothing else written on it. At the front, we've got an opener. So this looks like, I am not sure if it's magnetic, but it's definitely got a little bit of pressure and it snaps down nicely. So open this up and see what's inside. So the lid, playing again. Let's take a look. We've got a card saying now wall. Over here, we've got a user guide. It's a piston filler, so it's just letting you know how to fill it. Pop that to one side. It reveals this. Really simple, isn't it? Plain white box. That's got a nice, soft, velvety feel as this bed. In there, we've got this gorgeous pen. Let's take the pen out. The bottom comes up. In the bottom, we've got this nice cloth. It's a pen sleeve. That's going to be handy, isn't it, when you want to take the pen out, so you don't end up scratching it. It feels quite rough on the outside, but inside it's got this nice, smooth, again, suede type feel. That's a nice touch. Let me move the box out of the way. Pop that back in. We'll pop, pop that leaflet there. Close that down. With my boxes, I did have them on display for a time, but what I found was my shelf ended up looking really mucky. I don't throw my boxes out there. I do keep them. And what I do is, when I unpack them, I'll just pop them into another box out in the garage and that's where they then live. So there's the pen inside the pen sleeve. Let's ease this out of the pen sleeve and we can take a look at the actual pen itself. Okay, this is my very first look at this. All I can say is, wow, absolutely stunning. Just looking here, before I even start moving the pen, I can see we've got a gorgeous purple up here. We've got light vibrant greens we've got darker green i've got brown i've got some orange i'm slowly turning this is just on the cap remember slowly turning this round we've got some lighter purples like and then light blues and some more greens and some yellows oh god and bennett this is gorgeous let's go down and look at the color of the body now yeah we've only looked at the cap just going to slowly turn this around I can't believe how gorgeous this looks. I've got to be honest, this must be one of my prettiest pens. All those different colours. Oh, there's some white there. That's a slightly different colour than we've seen. Now, the beauty of all these colours is going to make it really easy to put virtually any colour ink that I want in here. I've already got an ink set aside because from based on the picture, the picture I saw had a lot of browns so my ink is hopefully going to pick up on that. This material is by Jonathan Brooks and it's the Primary Manipulation 
3.5. So let's take a closer look at this body. Start on the top here. On the top, on this brass colored disc, we've got 365, so that's the total number of this run. And this is pen number 309. 365. The problem with, in one respect, the problem with this, it means that now I've got one for one year. Do I need to now collect every year, collect that limited edition? I don't know, but it's nice to see that we've got that limited edition number. So it, the cap comes up fairly sharply. And then the rest of the cap, that's all the same width all the way down. The clip, gold colored clip. Nice and springy. Hopefully you can see that. It's actually fairly tight in some way. I don't often use a pen in my pocket, so that doesn't matter too much. So we come down here, down to the bottom of the cap. We've got a decorative band. So we've just got some, looks like some engraved pictures on there. I can't see any writing. We then have a very small step down and there we can see an ink window. We then carry on down the same width all the way down the body. This, I know I'm going to quickly just look at that, look at the colours. We come to another band. This band here then separates off the cap. The cap, because this is a piston filler, will twist that. The piston should have come down and then twist it the other way which should move that piston up. We'll take a look at that mechanism filling when we put the ink in it. Let's take off the cap. Half, one, one and a quarter, one and a half. Two turns to come off. Not too bad, I find that's quite fine. And that reveals the section and the nib. Let's take a closer look at the nib. This is a standard Nawal nib. It's a steel nib with this gold colouring. So at the top, we've got a little bit of decoration. We have the breather hole. We've got a picture of a now wall. And then on either side of that, we've got some nice decoration. On the left-hand side, we've got the letter M because this is a medium nib. We come on down into the section. The section, it's carrying through with that same colouring, that same gorgeous. I can see in here, though, we've got some blue. Didn't really see that in the rest of the material. Let's just slow turn it around so we can look at the colouring in this section. That's so pretty. We've got purples again. We've got some nice grey colour there, like a silvery grey. Plastic feed. And we're coming back around. And there's the nib again. So let's pop the cap on. I'm going to just swap over, fetching a different stand. Get this central to the camera. There we go. And we'll do some size comparisons. So the first two pens, we've got a Pilot Metropolitan and we've got a Lamy Safari. As you can see, this pen definitely bigger than both of them and wider. I mean, it looks like it's virtually twice the width of that Metropolitan and just a tiny little bit wider than the Safari. Just going to uncap these. Uncapped, again, that Metropolitan, the baby of the bunch. The Safari and the Narwhal, I would say they're virtually identical in length from the tip of the nib to the bottom of the pen. But nib size wise, the Narwhal with its number six size nib, definitely a larger nib. Of these three, I find them all fairly plain, but my personal preference is I like to see nibs which have got two turns on them, whereas these are just one single color. Just going to post these now. The Metropolitan and the Safari, they both post quite nicely. The Narwhal does not post at all. It won't even fit over the end. So definitely if you're a poster, this isn't a pen which will let you do that. Just going to take these two pens out. I'm going to fetch in two different pens. I'm starting here with the pens posted. What I've brought in is a Diplomat Aero. This costs 263 Australian dollars. I've also brought in a Leonardo Ferrari. That cost me 230 Australian dollars. The Narwhal Nautilus, well, that cost me 241 Australian dollars. So these pens are all roughly in the same price range and that's why I thought I'd fetch them in. As we can see posted the Ferrari is the largest just edging out the Diplomat but that Nautilus quite a lot shorter. I'm now going to unpost these. 
Unposted, the Ferrari and the Diplomat, I've got to be honest to me, they're very similar in size. Just edging out, and I'm talking about maybe five millimeters, the Nautilus just a little bit longer unposted. I do tend to use my pens unposted, and the size of the Diplomat and the Ferrari both perfect for my hand. So I think this now will, will be a real nice fit in my hand. Let's just pop the caps on. With the cap on, the Diplomat Aero, the shorter of the three, the Narwhal and the Ferrari, to be honest, it's virtually a dead heat for size. I think the Ferrari may be slightly shorter, but we're not talking a large amount. I'm going to step away from the desk. I'm going to give the pen a clean out. When I come back, we'll look at the ink, fill the pen, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions. Okay, what ink have I chosen? I've decided to go for this one. It's by Diamine and it's Ancient Copper. Now, when I was looking at the pictures, I thought it seemed a good match. Now I see the actual pen, where we've got the brown parts. I think this is going to look so nice. There's a lot of, like a coppery brown in this. And I think that's really going to be accented by this ink. And I think that's going to look really nice. It's going to be a real nice match. Let's get the card out of the way. I'll fetch in Quickie Koala. That's today's ink pot holder. Pop in the bottle. And this is where we hope that the section will fit in. And yes, it does. I do have some pens where the section just does not fit. Well, this only goes down a little bit. Hopefully, that's enough to let me fetch some ink up. Yep, there we go. We've got a nice fill there. Just wipe off this nib. Let's pop the lid on there. And we'll get this out of the way. This is, to me, one of the problems with the Diamine bottles that I've got. I've only got the small bottles, the, I think the 30 milliliters, that only fit in a little bit. So I haven't actually got a full fill. As you can see here with this ink window, it's only got a tiny bit of ink in there. So if I'm going to be using Diamine bottles, I think I need to find a way to decant it into a wider container to let me actually fill up my pens. That's a problem for another day, though. Let's fetch in the trusty notepad. Here we go. This is a black and red A5 notebook, and it uses Oxford optic paper. Let's do some writing with the pen. So we have here a now wall. Nautilus. This has got a medium nib. The model, it's the 365 Anniversary and it's the Cano Crystals. I believe Cano Cristals is the name of a river or a tributary of a river in Colombia. I need to do a little bit more research on that. That was just my quick Google I did earlier on. The ink, as I said, it's by Diamine. And it's ancient copper. I don't often use this ink at the moment, which is a shame because it's a gorgeous looking ink. Just going to pop the cap on for a second. I'm also going to fetch in another Narwhal to look at, another Narwhal Nautilus. So this is the Palasia Not to Luca version. So it's, so it's one of the first three that were released. And again, it's down as a special edition. It cost me 196 Australian dollars. As I've already said, 241 Australian dollars for the 365. But in terms of looks, the only real big difference, obviously, other than material, is these portals, whereas this has got a plain ink window. And I'm guessing that's because of the material. On the Palacio one, this is ebonite, whereas this is some kind of resin material. Let's continue though with our writing. I'm going to do my drying times. So immediate. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, finally one minute. After a minute, 
still smudging ever so slightly. I'm going to move the mic down to the paper so you can hear the pen writing. That's nice. There's a little tiny bit of feedback. Other than that, it just glides over the paper. Let's look at line variation. So this is with no pressure. Adding some pressure in. Not really seeing a much wider line there. Let's do some messes there. So it's a fairly stiff nib, but it's a steel nib, so that's not surprising. Final test. Yeah, that keeps it well, that nib just going across and the ink coming out really consistently. It looks really nice. So my first impressions, I love the pen. <laughs> Look at this. Just, I can't help but keep looking at this, all the different colours. They're so pretty. It's so unusual, isn't it? It's light. It fits nice in the hand. You hardly know it's there when you're using it. I love the fact it's got the piston filler. I would have preferred the portholes that are on the other Nautilus I have, but you have to understand the limitations of the material. I'm slightly disappointed that I couldn't get a lot of ink in there. That's not to do with the pen, that's to do with the ink bottle I'm using. But it's still an impression that I've got during this test. I love the colour of the ink. Again, I'm going to keep moving this pen over. I think we've got some really good colour matches in there. I think it really fetches the pen to life. When I'm writing, it's smooth with the slightest little bit of feedback. If I had to complain, I would actually prefer a little bit more feedback. Personal choice though. You know, everyone's got their own amount of feedback they like when they're writing. Don't see much line variation. Didn't expect that. Ink flow kept up nicely. I'm seeing teeniest bits of shading coming through in my writing. I need to write more with this pen and maybe even try some different inks in there to see what's happening in terms of shading. The nib, you know, I've found that now all nibs, they're always good. They always work well. I've only had one nib that I had a problem with and the actual problem I think was me. And that was a flex nib because I just did not get on with the flex nib. As soon as I changed that, I just put in a Yoho medium nib from, I think it was Pen Chalet. As soon as I did that, it wrote perfect and had no issues with it. This pen is so nice. You know, it, it feels nice in the hand. There we go. And see how that fits. It's a nice wide section. Really enjoyable to write with. Really comfortable to write with. So this is my first impressions of the Narwhal Nautilus 365 Anniversary Fountain Pen Cano Crystallis. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What do you think about this pen? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Please drop any comments down below. I'm going to try experimenting over the next few weeks with how I'm taking my photos, how I'm doing some video to see if I can get some better views of this pen. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.